To all my friends, family, and followers, I say to you, Buenos Quesadillas from Lake Worth, Florida. The land of the rain. Yes, it did rain <laughs> a little bit on Saturday. That was okay. Yesterday, it rained pretty good. Well, just enough to get everything saturated and sloshy and mucky. I told you on Saturday, I was full of fire, ready to go. Sure enough, that this rain didn't stop us. We kept on rocking. We got a little canopy out here, slowed the wet down a little bit. Uh, so we went along. Let me show you what we did uh, before. We replaced this uh, center panel because it was uh, really blown out and the filler panel from salvage. When that all goes together, the, 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 the rear quarters, things have it sometimes can shift a little bit. These rear quarters were replaced by, by someone years ago, so you're really not quite sure where you're going to end up. Well, where we did end up was uh, we put the deck lid back on yesterday just to see how it was going to fit. And yes, there were a couple of issues, but if you look at it, I ended up getting it uh, level uh, uh, in, in reason. The gap is the same all the way around. I had to pound on the panel a little bit. You know, I made a couple divots here and there. But other than that, it's it's well within it's well within reason for workability. No no disasters. No oh my gods. Uh, this will all get obviously get cleaned up. Now, if you do recall. If you do recall, we were uh, I, I was we both wanted that trunk in. The owner and I wanted the trunk in, and you never know how it's going to go because parts aren't made uh, exactly every single time. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes the, the car has got other issues that you didn't know about, or it was worked before, and now it, it's not uh, the same. So let's take a peek inside here. There it is, folks fresh trunk and 1968 GTO. You can see that there are the, as from the other uh, video, there's it's a three piece assembly. One, two, three. We got the body mount is welded up underneath here. Uh, it's a structural support with the fresh mounts on both sides. And you can also see from the last video that the wheelhouse had, uh, had some blowouts down here that I ended up doing from the other side and got it tied in and it's all caulked in uh, we made up a couple of uh, the you know these parts were, were, were missing uh, rotted out and so they got refabricated up on top here this this panel I'm not even sure uh, where or how we got it but it, it didn't seem to be with this car but I managed to get it uh, fitted in the seam is still here, but as we go along with our detail work, that seam is going to disappear. That's what, when I get that tied in, you can see that it's still, we haven't finished working up here. That's going to be another zone altogether. The sides over here need to be tied in. It all gets, it all gets put together. But we wanted it down and tight. And see, this is all caulked in. Uh, I still got this corner to work with. The, for as far as trunks go, it's kind of hard for the camera to see, but this is the, the biggest, uh, my biggest focus every time is the seam where the replacements meet the original metal. You can see right here that you can't even see that seam. It's a little bit visible here, and like I said, as I go along, I do multiple layers of, of uh, my uh, fillers and, and what I use to disguise it. A trunk can can make or break a car the first thing that that, that, uh, that that goes in a lot of these are floor pans and trunks that's where the gaskets get old uh, the water gets past them and here we go so if there's anybody ever wants to inspect the car or they're interested in it the owner for this one the expectations are high he wants it to be a high dollar car you can't have a high dollar car with, with pop rivets uh, in, in a trunk or sheet metal screws and, and roofing car. That'll just destroy the value of the car. So that's why they bring on Dano the Rust Buster. I get them in tight, clean, with the with the mind for increasing the value of the car, not decreasing it. That's, that's, that's what we're all about. Uh, we being an army of, of one over here. <laughs> uh, 
today, what we're it, it is it is going to be it is going to be raining today, uh, unfortunately. <clears throat> so we're just going to have to do a little dance. I wanted to get the glass in. I've got the butyl for it, but the glass is best put in when it's a bright, sunny, hot day. When you put that adhesive down, it comes in a rope and it's butyl, and the sun hits that glass. It just melts and squeezes and just fits like a dream. We've got a little bit of wet. It's a little cold. Uh, I don't want to put it in <clears throat> and have any gap where the water might get into it and past it before it gets to cure uh, on my uh, my next visit. So we're gonna we're gonna see. Uh, we're probably gonna end up on uh, working over over here today because uh, that that might let a little water in. Maybe just a little. Uh, that and the other side is nowhere near as bad, but we're, we're trying to uh, tighten it up. I don't know if you can see if the, my camera guy can see that the, the rain coming down now. It's just it always seems to be raining here. I might as well be working in London for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're just going to give it at the, at, the, at the moment. We're going to forget about the plans because that that's not going to that's not going to work. We're just going to take a direction and work wherever it's dry. Uh, if this is dry back here, that's where we're gonna work. That's where we're gonna be. I can get this patch up here to get ready for the glass and then these guys back here and see where it goes from, see where it goes from there. Oh, and I almost forgot. The other day, sometimes I space out and forget about uh, what year of the car that it is I'm, I'm, I'm working on. It's been known to happen. I've done that, I've done that before. Cause I get so many of them especially with the Chevelles. Uh, I, I do so many of them that I forget which one is which. This is a 68, not a 69. I, I, I called her a 69 a couple times the other day, and uh, obviously I was wrong because it is a 68. And uh, that's about it from uh, Rainy Lake Worth. Uh, tomorrow I'll be down in Hollywood, Florida, working on a Chevy C10. Then from there, back to Davie. Uh, to work on the 68 uh, Camaro Pro Street. He's, he's waiting for me and that, that one's going to be fun. They're, they're all going to be fun. Or they all are fun for me anyway. Especially when I take their money. Other than that, let's see what we can do. Thank you and have a nice day.